So if you are looking for another book on the brain, perhaps on how it works, I have the book for you guys. Now, my name is Marcus. This is Discover Ignite. And today I'm doing a book review on a book called The Tall Tale Brain by V.S. Ramachandran. Now, this particular book is a phenomenal book. So sit back, relax, and let's get this book review started. So I must say I am a huge fan of the brain and I've always been curious about the brain and how it works, right? So I feel like every couple of books, I always pick up a particular book, which is about the brain. And on this particular book, I've heard some really good things about it. That's what drew me to this book. And I must say it was a great book, right? It had some really good insight onto how the brain works, right? And not just how it works, but how it works with your vision, with you know music with art with language and then it goes into a lot of other different things right as far as like if there's any kind of damage to the brain how the brain essentially like compensates for that right and so this this book is great like if you are really trying to understand how the brain works and trying to hack the brain right and I've been a big person to to want to do that right this is why I read a lot of these books is to try to hack my brain and you know try to get an edge right on tricking myself into possibly maybe believing leaving something because I know a lot of times it's always about mindset and a lot of times you essentially fight that inner voice right and if you can understand how the brain is working right you can take advantage of that right and that's why I read these books and this particular book like I said is no different right it really gets you into a bunch of different things a bunch of different components of the brain and how it works with the left and right hemispheres and and there's some great insight, right? There's actually one particular part in the book that I found really interesting, right? So much so to where your brain, right? If you say a good example that I use in the book was this person, this lady, you know, she lost full control over her left arm. But for whatever reason, her mind was playing tricks on her, right? Her mind was essentially selfish, right? I don't remember what the term was used for it, but her mind was essentially selfish. And she essentially believes that that is not her, right? That is, that there's no way that she could lose, you know, sensation in that arm and not be able to move that left arm. But yet he, he does this experiment, right? In which he says, okay, I want you to touch your left hand to my nose. And then he says, let me know when you do that. And she says, okay, well, I am touching your nose or I'm almost touching your nose and you know he looks and her arm hasn't even left her side and then he asked her to to touch her own nose with her left hand and you know for some strange reason she used her right hand to essentially pick up her hand and guide it to her nose and he asked well whose left hand was that that you were essentially touching to my nose because he picks up her hand right and says this is your left hand she says no 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 no. that's that's my mother's hand that's my mother's hand she must be hiding under the table and so it's just this this weird concept right that your brain is just doesn't want to you know give up right it's on on the fact that it's like selfish right it's like your brain can't comprehend the fact that it has lost complete control of that arm right and so it's just some really bizarre ways that the brain works right and there's good sections in there about like speech like if you miss particular parts of your brain perhaps get damaged that you know you like the way you structure your senses is is really really unique to say the least right on how your brain organizes all this information and tries to you know interact with the world right the brain is such an interesting thing on how it's all connected right and how we interact with the world and so again this just puts a lot of that stuff together and i think this stuff really helps you know if you're you're trying to just understand the way the brain works right because there's a lot of things that our brain essentially tricks us into believing is there right whether that's our memory whether that's you know something we we think we see but our brain essentially you know fills in a lot of gaps and without reading you know any kind of brain books you wouldn't really think that right you're like no no that's definitely what i saw but it's your mind plays a lot of tricks on you because if it didn't you know fill in those gaps you would be you know wondering you'd probably go crazy trying to wondering what happened right because you didn't essentially see that whole picture right so your brain likes to fill in those gaps so it doesn't leave anything to curiosity right 
And so it's just really interesting and I think anybody can really get anything out of this book. It's a phenomenal book, especially if you're really intrigued in the brain like I am. But as far as like any cons to the book, I would say a lot of it is just more like scientific based, right? And so it's kind of, it's kind of bland, I guess you could say, because there isn't a lot of like crazy, exciting things. It's a lot of really intriguing stuff about the brain, right? So if you're really into the brain, I think you would probably get more out of the book as opposed to someone that was just, you know, curious, right? If you aren't something that's like, wow, you know, I really want to know how the brain works and possibly use it to help hack my own brain, right? Then I would highly suggest that this book would be for you. And I, like anybody else, I think, Anybody can get something out of it, right? Because it's got great information in it. But, you know, unless you're trying to actually use that to your advantage in some way, I think maybe this, this book may not be for you, right? You may not be interested in a book just about facts. I mean, it could just be one of those books where you're like, man, this is interesting how the brain works, right? And on um, the fact that how we interpret language and how we interpret art and how we interpret music, right? All these different things in our everyday lives. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button. And until next time, I will see you guys later.